Working for West Virginia, the area's most watched news. 12 News at 11 starts now. Coming up on 12 News at 11, we'll have the latest on the situation between Russia and Ukraine and what the United Nations is planning to do to help. Plus, as COVID numbers drop, hospitals say goodbye to the National Guard members. But first, I hope you enjoyed that warm weather because it won't be here for long. Here's Josh with a look at our first forecast. Can you hear me now? Okay, awesome. Sorry about that. Winter weather alerts across the region. Winter storm warning for the majority of our region here, except for Marion, Mon, and Wetzel County. They are under a winter weather advisory for that until 10 p.m. tomorrow evening. So please, please, please be careful out there on those roads if you have to be out tomorrow. But let's take a look moving forward here. We will be moving into snow shortly after midnight tonight, and that continues way throughout the morning until it dies down into the beginning of the afternoon hours. I'll have more coming up in just a little bit. Gina. Thanks, Josh. Good evening and welcome to 12 News at 11. I'm Gina Cadigan. Thanks for joining us. Let's start with the ongoing situation in Ukraine. The UN, U, the UN Refugee Agency says more than two and a half million people have fled Ukraine and a further two million have been driven from their homes within the country since the start of the Russian invasion on February 24th. The United Nations has been planning its humanitarian needs on the assumption that four million Ukrainian refugees would seek safety abroad. But with around 200,000 people having fled to neighboring countries over the past 24 hours, the UN says it may have to revise that figure to be higher. And today, Governor Jim Justice spoke in the Capitol Rotunda about the war in Ukraine and the need for energy independence. In this speech before a large crowd, the governor stopped short of introducing any specific plans, but he did talk about the availability of coal in West Virginia and the potential for the state to be a proactive in making the most of the resources available. The governor says the answers to the energy crisis going on right now are here in West Virginia. Please remember who brought you to the dance. Well, you know, whether it be coal or gas or oil, they brung us to the dance and they're going to save us today and we best better pay real attention to it. Justice also talked about the need to put fears over climate change on the back burner for now. He also expressed sympathy for the people of Ukraine and called Russian President Vladimir Putin, quote, a madman and a bully. Now to continuing coverage on the pandemic. Active COVID cases in West Virginia are just above 1,400 today. The DHHR currently lists 1,432 cases as active. That's the lowest active cases have been since last July, according to Governor Jim Justice. 469 new cases were included in today's DHHR report. Six more West Virginians have also died from the coronavirus, including a 81-year-old man from Lewis County. More counties in West Virginia are lifting mass recommendations due to the decrease in cases across the state, as we just mentioned. According to new CDC guidelines, Randolph and Ritchie counties no longer recommend wearing masks indoors and in outdoor public places. The two counties join Mon, Pocahontas, and Pendleton counties in lifting mask recommendations. The CDC, however, still recommends masks in most north central West Virginia counties. This afternoon, WVU Medicine said farewell to National Guard members in a send off ceremony. 25 West Virginia National Guard members were working inside Ruby Memorial Hospital to help in supportive care roles for the last six weeks. Employees from the hospital gathered outside holding signs and pom-poms to celebrate their departure. National Guard members were also given cookies as a thank you for their work. We're going to miss them. Uh, we enjoyed having them here and uh, 
Uh, coinciding with their departure is also a, a really good drop in our case numbers in the state of West Virginia. So uh, we're going to miss them, uh, but we're glad the cases are falling. West Virginia National Guard members were deployed in January to hospitals who requested extra help due to a spike in COVID-19 cases. Bridgeport Healthcare Center has received a five-star rating from the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services for the month of February. The five-star rating is calculated by state survey results, quality measures, and staffing levels throughout the facility. Officials with Bridgeport Healthcare Center say they couldn't do this without the help of their employees. It's an honor knowing that, um, you know, we expect our team members to provide the highest quality care to our residents. They are top notch. They provide the best care. They have high expectations of providing care and they work together to do so. The facility's sister facility in Clarksburg, the Clarksburg Nursing and Rehabilitation Center, received a three-star rating. Still to come on 12 News at 11, take your foot off the gas pedal. We'll take you to Elkins to show you where drivers now have to slow down. Plus, Abby Backenstow will have the latest in the 12 Sports Zone. But first, here's Josh with what's to come in our forecast. Snow is beginning to make its way into the region as winter storm warning has been issued for much of the state. I'll have more details coming up when 12 News at 11 returns. Stay with us. Follow Snowbird and WBOY Storm Tracker 12 throughout the weather season. Brought to you by Schaefer Medea Law. Have you been hurt by a truck? You need an experienced lawyer to handle these difficult cases. At Hayhurst Law, we've recovered millions of dollars on behalf of truck accident victims. Hayhurst Law, protecting you. Bet Rivers Online Casino is now playable in West Virginia. With live bingo, slots, table games, and a generous rewards program, Bet Rivers knows what casino players want. Play with the winner. Sign up at BetRivers.com today. At U.S. Cellular, we're local. So we're on the ground every day. Working to make sure our 5G network isn't impacted by the local weather. Get the most out of our 5G network. Choose any phone for free. That's any phone, including the new Galaxy S22, totally free. Plus, get unlimited data for just $30 a month. Because we believe you should get more of the latest 5G technology for less of your hard-earned money all year round. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. Mmm. Would you look at that pie? So mouth-watering. Juicy. Fresh. Saucy. Oh, almost forgot about the best burger to ever touch my taste buds. Get your buns on. Located at 354 U.S. 33 Weston. Enhance and preserve your driveway or parking lot with professional seal coating, line striping, and asphalt repairs. Call locally owned Asphalt Kings for all your commercial and residential asphalt needs. We are fully licensed and insured, and we're booking jobs today. Life can change in a matter of seconds. If you've been hurt in a car wreck, give our experienced legal team a call today. We know how to handle difficult insurance companies to get the compensation you deserve. Hayhurst Law, protecting you. B -A -O -O. When it comes to autism, Hi. finding the right words can be tough. Yes. Finding understanding doesn't have to be. I close my eyes. Join, I love you. Love you too. Together, we can create a kinder, more inclusive world for the millions of people on the autism spectrum. Go to AutismSpeaks.org. Follow Snowbird through all weather on WBOI. Brought to you by Bridgeport Physical Therapy. Welcome back. A new selfie studio has now opened inside of the Morgantown Mall. The Forever Rose Room offers several large and small booths of decorative backgrounds for patrons to take photos either as a selfie or with a professional photographer. The studio can also host, host gatherings such as baby and wedding showers, birthday parties and more. 
According to the owners, Nicole McKinley and Brittany Fink, the selfie studio idea is growing in several areas of the country. One of the big things that we said that um, our space is used for is just something that lasts forever, whether it be your engagement picture, your baby shower picture, um, you know, even your wedding photos, just something to hang on the wall or keep in your phone, um, just a memory that lasts forever. And that's kind of where the name of the place came from, the Forever Rose Room. The Forever Rose Room is located near the food court. Staff of the library in Elkins received an unwanted Christmas gift last year. Heather Hale has more. After the holiday break for Christmas of 2021, staff members of the Elkins Randolph County Public Library returned to discover that water had been pouring into the building. Work was already underway to repair the roof when the snow and rainfall combined with freezing temperatures to pave the way for water to access the inside of the building. That is the uh, fourth and final. <laughs> Uh, leak that occurred uh, January 8th and that was kind of the last straw for the interior of the building so uh, everything has been packed up and stored away. Because the library will be under renovation officials have been looking for a temporary location to house the popular services like Wi-Fi to give the community back the resources they used most. We will have computers, we will have a children's section, uh, we will start back up with the programming and uh, have a full-fledged library again until we can get this one rebuilt, obviously. The restoration might lead to an expansion if the library officials can come up with the funds, since the insurance will only restore the library back to its previous condition. We would have to have funding and we would probably approach the community and reach out to those people that uh, could donate to provide a bigger space for, for an education center, so to speak. Here in Elkins. Expansion or not, the library will be making some changes like updating electrical wiring and complying with the Americans with Disabilities Act, things that weren't required of them in the past because of the age of the building. We have a substantial loss from interior, interior materials to actually replacing the building, so it, it's not moving as fast as we'd like to and, and we'd like to have more information available, but um, we just ask for patience. In the meantime, the Beverly Branch is open for Elkins residents who can travel to utilize their services. The estimated time for restoration at the Elkins Randolph County Public Library is eight months, but that number is likely to change because of the coordination that needs to happen between the architect, the contractor, and the insurance company. Reporting from Elkins for 12 News, I'm Heather Hale. The city of Elkins recently purchased a new mobile speed limit sign for $3,500. It's currently sitting on Boundary Avenue, where the speed limit used to be 25, but was reduced to 15 by city council. The new speed limit sign will be moved to different parts of town to record speed limits. It will collect data and show law enforcement where the problem areas are for speeding in the town. All right, still to come on 12 News at 11. Stay right there. Josh is back with a full look at our forecast. He'll tell us if we're going to need our shovels for this snow. And later, Ryan Decker will have the latest on our Mountaineers. Stick with us. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we built the SUVs of the future for everyone. Ford Escape and Explorer. Built with bliss to detect vehicles in your blind spot and with lane keeping system. Because the SUVs of the future aren't built for a few. They're built for America. Ford Escape and Explorer. Drive one today. Now get a 2021 Escape with 0% APR financing for 36 months plus $1,000 retail bonus cash only at your neighborhood Ford store. For your next project, come to Elkins Sewing Center. Let us help you turn your creativity into reality. We have sewing machines for every sewing need from beginner machines to machines with tablets, laser guidance, and Wi-Fi connectivity. With these machines, you can download designs and other information directly to your sewing machine. With this type of technology available, Elkin Sewing Center is definitely not your grandmother's sewing center. At White Spine Jewelry, we want to help you live happily ever after. With our exquisite collection of engagement, wedding, and anniversary rings that you won't find anywhere else. When you come to White's Fine Jewelry, we'll help you through every step of your journey because nothing beats the excitement of saying yes to the perfect proposal. Start your journey to happily ever after with White's Fine Jewelry at the Middletown Commons in Whitehall or whitesfinejewelry.com.
passion for helping people is what we do best. Call the winning team and make the smart move with McNeely Realty Group. Follow Snowbird through all weather on WBOI. Brought to you by Meadowbrook Mall. Now, the area's most accurate forecast. Storm Tracker 12 weather. Powered by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration. The official cleaning and restoration company of the West Virginia Mountaineers. Good evening, North Central West Virginia. Taking a look at our Weimar Automotive Group weather eye over Morgantown, we can really see those clouds beginning to push into the region with that rain and snow right behind it coming in shortly within the next few hours. Taking a look at our weather headlines, we are under a winter storm warning through tomorrow night for that big snowstorm that is on its way with widespread snow through the early morning hours, very messy conditions, but luckily we will be pretty mild after this storm is out of the way. Taking a look across the region currently, 42 in Clarksburg, 37 in West Union, 34 in Middleburn, and 39 in Glenville right now. We can really see that snow beginning to push its way into the region here right off to our west, and that's going to come in relatively quickly overnight tonight as we take a look over the next 12 hours here. We are dropping down into the low 20s into the early morning hours with those snow showers really beginning to fall shortly after 1 a.m. That rain is going to transition into completely snow, and then it's going to be widespread throughout. As we take a look at our day tomorrow, 30 degrees for a high, very frigid conditions. Back to winter with snow continuing throughout the day, on and off after that widespread um, goes out uh, afternoon. Winds out of the northwest at around 10 to 20 miles per hour sustained, but gusts can be upwards of 25, so it is going to be very breezy out there tomorrow. So if you don't have to leave the house, don't, but if you are, make sure you are bundling up as we look at our storm timeline here. Clouds are increasing and rains moving into the region now through around 1 a.m. Then it will transition to a more snow as soon as those temperatures fall below freezing with the heaviest snows coming anywhere between 4 and 8 a.m. very widespread then. 10 a.m. those snow begins to fade off and push off to the east with some lingering chances into the mountains but make sure we are turning our clocks back as we head overnight tomorrow night for that spring. Well, let's take a look at our current satellite. We do have this low pressure system just over us as is pushing by over us. That is going to bring us all of that snow throughout the day today as we take a look at our predictor here. We see all of those pinks and greens and blues. Those pinks are that freezing rain. It is pushing into the region and it's going to slowly transition into a more snow as we see here into the early in the morning. Very widespread before it begins to push east of I-79. Very fading away then into the early morning hours with a few chances of a stray shower here and there throughout the afternoon hours for Saturday before it really moves out of the region into the overnight hours, leaving us pretty clear for our day Sunday. We may even see a slight chance of some winter precipitation into the day Sunday, but nothing too much to be worried about there. But let's take a look at our seven day forecast real quick. All right, we are going to be right around 30 degrees for a high tomorrow. The snow showers are going to be very prominent, but luckily after that we will be mostly sunny with temperatures rising back up to above average into the middle of the week. Very spring-like conditions. Thanks, Josh. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Stay right there. Your Mountaineer Minute is up right after the break. Follow Snowbird through all weather on WBOI. Brought to you by St. Joseph's Hospital. With cold weather here, there's never been a better time to jump in. At Leisure World, we carry a full line of Viking spas with new units arriving daily. Free delivery and setup with your purchase. So what are you waiting for? Let Leisure World of Weston make your dream of owning a hot tub a reality. Think premium can't be capable? Think again. The GMC Sierra AT4. Premium and capable. That's professional grade from GMC. Get 0% financing on GMC Sierra Limited crew cab models. Plus, current eligible GMC owners get an additional $750 purchase allowance. This is Dave. He thought he'd save money by getting internet from one company and TV from, well, from multiple providers. 
You see, Dave and his wife watch live TV, Ella her favorite kid shows, and Henry loves sports. It was costing Dave a lot. So Dave switched to Spectrum. Switch to Spectrum Internet and TV from $49.99 per month each. Call 833-841-4999. Spectrum Internet with speeds at 200 megabits includes a free modem and free online security software. And Spectrum TV with over 125 channels includes live local news and regional sports and up to 85,000 on-demand titles. Plus, with the free Spectrum TV app, everyone can stream on their devices anywhere. So now Dave has one bill, one provider, no contracts, and is saving a ton. Be like Dave. Switch to Spectrum Internet and TV from $49.99 per month each. Call 833-841-4999 or visit Spectrum.com. It's Sleep Outfitters Spring Super Sale. Get any size Sealy for the twin size price, as low as $2.99. With zero interest, Tempur-Pedic or Stearns and Foster mattresses start at just $25 a month. Plus, get free delivery and incredible free gifts. Now at Sleep Outfitters. The new Golden Blue Nation podcast, sponsored by West Virginia's lawyers, Pritt and Spano. Scan the QR code to listen to our latest episodes. Now with a look at your Mountaineers, here's Ryan Decker with tonight's Mountaineer Minute. WVU Athletics programs providing its fans with two exciting finishes Friday night in two different sports. Let's start on the hardwood. The Mountaineers taking on a nationally ranked Iowa State team in the Big 12 Women's Basketball Tournament quarterfinals. As Mary Martinez got off to a great start, nine points in the first quarter, but WVU down double digits at the half. Second half now, JJ Quinterly starts to heat up. Quinterly and Martinez combined for 32 points in this one. W View trailed by as many as 21 points after halftime, pulled to within four in the fourth quarter, but fell short of completing the comeback 66 to 60 the final as the Cyclones eliminate the Mountaineers from Big 12 title contention. The WVU baseball team also trailed late at home Friday night, game two of the doubleheader against Ohio State. Mountaineers down by two. Nathan Blasick comes through with a pinch hit, game tying single with two outs in the bottom of the ninth. Next man up, Austin Davis, full count, runner on third, game over. Davis with a walk-off single up the middle. Mountaineers run Davis all over the outfield in celebration. WVU takes game two of the doubleheader by a final score of seven to six. West Virginia and Ohio State scheduled to finish up that series on Sunday. And what a way to finish up a long day at the ballpark for the Mountaineers, a full game recap on our website. That's the latest on the Mountaineers here in Morgantown. I'm Ryan Decker. Stay connected. Download the Storm Tracker 12 app now. Looking for a new adventure? Bring your friends, take a free tour, and try the smoothest alcohol around at Man Cave Distillery. That's right. Tucked away in Weston, West Virginia, just three miles from Jackson's Mill, sits an international award-winning distillery that makes moonshine, whiskey, vodka, and gin. Quit giving that same old bottle of wine. Why not try something unique this time, like a West Virginia local liquor? We're open 10 to 6 Monday through Saturday and 12 to 5 on Sundays. Come see us at Man Cave Distilling. I've outlined today a detailed plan to stop the opioid crisis. My plan begins with a strong border. But Alex Mooney voted against Trump's plan to stop deadly fentanyl coming from China, one of only three Republicans to oppose Trump. More than 10,000 pounds of fentanyl from China seized at our border. Mooney opposed Trump's wall four times and against stopping fentanyl from China. Maryland Mooney, bad for the Trump agenda, worse for West Virginia. I'm David McKinley, and I approve this message. What sets our firm apart from all others is clearly the aggressive nature in which we handle our clients' cases. If you want a firm that takes the nice guy approach, that wants to be friends with the insurance company or the insurance adjuster, we're not the firm for you. But if you want a firm that fights hard on every issue that's important to your case and that protects your rights and your interests, call the Tiger. <laughs> This is adulting at its finest. Budgeting, planning, saving every dime, and we're there every step of the way, making sure you get a home within your means, because we want you worrying about where the couch will go, not hidden fees or surprises. Middletown Homes. We don't just build houses, we build homes. 
yourself in a new Toyota. Wow. Perfect. I think red is more me. Giddy up. See your dealer today to reserve your adventure-ready RAV4 or spacious Highlander. Now with special 2.49% APR financing to qualified buyers for 60 months. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. What drives you? Shop Toyota for legendary safety and reliability. Toyota, let's go places. And now it's time for the 12 Sports Zone, brought to you by Toyota. Welcome into the 12 Sports Zone. Here's Abby back in Stowe with the latest on girls basketball that happened today in Charleston. Two teams looking to advance to the AAA state title game. Top seeded Fairmont Senior against number five Pikeview. Marley Washnitz puts the first three points on the board, makes the bucket, draws the foul to go with for an early lead. The Panthers answer. Hannah Purdue drives inside, puts it through. Then later on in the quarter, Polar Bears get rolling. Washnitz sinks the triple from the outside. Now Washnitz on the other end gains control, hauls it to Emily Storn in stride, finishes the layup, and Fairmont Senior leads 18 to 7 after one. Polar Bears find their footing even more in the second quarter. Out to Clara Hager, sends up the triple, kisses the glass, and it's good to open the quarter. Now it's Sarn's turn, buries the three from the left side, and Fairmont Sr. takes a 24-10 lead. Polar Bears build their lead even further, Washnitz, and one. She filled the stat sheet in this one, 14 points in the first half, 27 in the game, along with 11 boards, 7 steals, and 5 assists. Polar Bears up 34-19 at the half. Fairmont Senior staying above Pike View continuously throughout the second half. Laney Beresford, the other polar bear in double figures tonight with 12 points. Pike View keeps it competitive, but Fairmont Senior runs away with it. 58 39, the final score. Corey Hines and company advance to the AAA state title game once again, where they see Logan. A lot of times people think we're going to just play one way, and we don't. We, we're able to, if we got to slow it up, we're going to slow it up. If we got to play fast, which we enjoy, we're going to play fast. And if they were calling a lot more, you know, touch fouls, then we're going to put our hands away. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, like I said, with these young ladies, I'm proud. They, like, they adapted, and that's the key word to all this. you got to be able to adapt. All right, bear with me here. I'm not Abby Back in Stone. Out of the class quad A state semifinal, Morgantown and Wheeling Park, Park meet for the fifth time this season, this time for a ticket to the state title game. Late in the first quarter, Lily Jordan hits the jumper, but the Mohegans trail 11 to 7. Then Zendaya Jones hits the three point shot here and brings Morgantown to within one point with just over 30 seconds on the clock. Park looking to extend the lead quickly. Layla, Layla Woods drives the basket and picks up the foul too. Wheeling Park leads 14-10 after one quarter. Second quarter now, Morgantown cuts the Patriots lead to two as Jordan sends it inside. Lindsay Bechtel, she had 10 points in the first half. Morgantown then took the lead by one, but Wheeling Park takes it back here. Natalie Dogerty lays it home. She also had 10 in the first half, and it's 16-15. Five lead changes in the first half. There was one of them in this video. Mohegan's back on top. Morgantown leads by two at the half. Takes a 10-point lead heading into the final quarter, and they keep the lead to win it 46-31. Morgantown advances to play Huntington in the state final tomorrow night. Stay right there. We'll be back with a check on your forecast right after this. Follow Snowbird through all weather on WBOY. Brought to you by Glenville State University. It's Ford Truck Month, America. Let's get after it in a Ford F-150. With an available work surface on the tailgate and on the inside. Or a new Ford Super Duty with the best available diesel horsepower in its class and an available 12 inch touchscreen. Get after our best offers on Ford F Series, America's best selling trucks during Ford Truck Month. Now get a 2021 Ford F 150 pickup with 0% APR financing for 48 months plus $1,000 retail bonus cash. Honor your loved one who has passed and notify their friends and neighbors by placing their picture and arrangements on the local news at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Go to WBOY.com's community tab, click on obituaries, and complete the online form, or call for local obits. Why is Rhino David McKinley lying again? 
McKinley calls himself a Trump conservative, but he's weak on the border, backing amnesty for illegal immigrants. Don't be fooled. Alex Mooney's the only Trump-endorsed candidate in this race, and his mother, a Cuban refugee. His father, a veteran who battled communism. Mooney defends our values at any cost, so West Virginia can breathe free. Trump-endorsed conservative Alex Mooney for Congress. I'm Alex Mooney, and I approve this message. Get the Planet Fitness Black Card, our most popular membership for zero enrollment and only $22.99 a month. With access to 2,000-plus locations, bring a friend every time you visit. I love friends. And relaxing massage chairs. Mmm, that makes me so happy. <laughs> the PF Black Card is your ticket to all the perks. Look at that glow. Oh, it's all natural. It's this place, I tell you. So get glowing and feel fitacular for zero enrollment and only $22.99 a month. Deal ends Wednesday, March 16th. Abrams, 9 o'clock, telling it like it is, now at a new time. Here's where I'm coming from. Here's what I'm thinking. Dan Abrams live at his new time, 9, 8 central, weeknights on News Nation. News for all America. Russia invades Ukraine. A News Nation exclusive now, a former KGB spy. He is describing Putin as a war criminal. I know he will never give up. Continuing coverage on Russia at War. Stay tuned to News Nation. Enhance and preserve your driveway or parking lot with professional seal coating, line striping, and asphalt repairs. Call locally owned Asphalt Kings for all your commercial and residential asphalt needs. We are fully licensed and insured, and we're booking jobs today. WVOI.com to check out our half off hump day deals. Welcome back. I hope you didn't pack away that winter gear just yet in the attic because the snow is on its way. It really is. As we head overnight tonight, we are under a winter storm warning for the majority of the region. As we see here, it will continue until 10 p.m. tomorrow evening. But we do have a winter weather advisory for Wetzel, Marion, and Mon County that is a part separate from that winter storm warning and that does extend until 10 p.m. tomorrow as well. So if you don't have to be out on the roads, please don't and be careful staying inside. If you do have to head out, give yourself a lot of extra time on those roads because it will be very hazardous. But let's take a look at our storm timeline here. Clouds are increasing as we head overnight tonight as that rain is moving into the region. It is going to transition into a snow completely right after 1 a.m. and it's going to then become very heavy between 4 a.m. and 8 a.m. tonight, making travel very, 4 a.m. and 8 a.m. tomorrow morning rather, making travel very difficult throughout that. But make sure that you are just giving yourself extra time if you do have to be out on those roads as that snow begins to fade early tomorrow morning around 10 a.m. Continuing to linger a little bit in our more mountainous counties and should be moving out of the region into the evening hours. but. Don't forget to move your clocks forward an hour tomorrow night as we are right there at that springtime to do that. But as we head overnight tonight, let's take a look at our next 12 hours here. The snow showers are really going to start right around 1 a.m. and continue being widespread till about 8, 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. So we will get a decent amount anywhere from 2 to 6 inches is expected, locally higher amounts in other places. But we will move it forward taking a look at our seven-day forecast real quick if it will, the clicker will work here but it doesn't look like it's going to. <laughs> Here we go. There it goes. 30 degrees for a high tomorrow. Snow showers throughout the day, but we will be mostly sunny as we head into Monday and spring-like temperatures coming in store for us next week. All right, that's it for 12 News at 11. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.